Once upon a time, a girl with moonlight in her eyes put her hand in mine and said she loved me so. But that was once upon a time, very long ago. How's it going? You can just throw your name up on the list and we'll get right to you. Yeah, thanks, dude. Thanks for coming in. Let me just clean this spot up and then we'll get right to you. You can hop on up if you're ready. Welcome to the shop. How's it going? Never better. What do you got in mind for today? I've got uh, a big show up the road. Just a professional uh, haircut would be nice. Okie dokie. So where's the show this evening? The little place up the road, a pizza shop that uh, does shows on Mondays and Tuesdays. When was the last time you had a haircut? It was about four days ago. I do try to keep it uh, uh, ready, ready to be cut at any moment because when you're on the road, you don't know when you'll need the next haircut or where you'll find the next barber, you know? And you can't uh, allow yourself to be unkempt. I don't know if you've heard of an act called uh, The Grateful Dead. And these guys were a slob. These people looked like hell, and the music reflected that, you know. And that's how you have a career that goes straight down the toilet. You want to expand so that you have a crowd that isn't just druggies and sickies and, uh, and swine. Then you need to uh, clean up your act a little bit. Those guys couldn't, and then it was too late because they died. So where are you from? It doesn't really matter to, to get true, a haircut. That's not really. You're right about that. Wouldn't really affect uh, the, the, the cutting of the hair. So what's the show all about this evening? Well, we do, you know, we tell the jokes that, that uh, people want to hear. And then we also have a little bit of a song and dance routine thrown in there. People uh, get tired of the monotony of these uh, dreary rock and roll bands, and they want something a little bit different. So is it like a tour you're on right now? Or? No, it's an endless uh, loop that I've been on for many years. Sounds exhausting. It's not the best. We just go with, well, you know, where we end up. Oh, that's not very professional. You could cut somebody's ear off dropping, I'm sorry, you're, you're right dropping something this. like that. And next thing you know, the, the, the ear's on the floor along with all this hair. So where do you take all the hair off the floor? Because it's flammable, isn't it? Is there some sort of special uh, uh, hair circuit of uh, trash men that come and pick up the hair, or does it just go out with the regular rubbish? No, there's a special circuit, and then, you know, every time there's like an oil spill somewhere, uh, it gets shipped there, and that's how they sop up the, uh, the oil on the coast. Some of the musicians and things that I've worked with, their hair has so much oil in it, I don't see how that would be helpful to sop up anymore. So you ever do uh, cruise ships or anything like that? We did one uh, going to the Bahamas from Miami, Florida. By the end, the whole thing, the whole ship smelled like raw sewage from some of these people. Calling them people is being generous, uh, you know, because they, they are so busy drinking this fluorescent colored uh, anti-freeze style cocktails and eating this, uh, you know, entire hams. By the end, they start to smell pretty rank. My stepsister sang Oklahoma on a cruise ship for years. Oh. Was she working for the cruise ship company yeah, she or was, was she just demented? So where'd you grow up? So you want to keep the front swooping across in this direction like it is now? Exactly like it was when I walked in. I'm not going to have some barber decide uh, on a new look for me when this one has worked for me. Perfectly understandable. Uh, for, for over 20 years. Uh, you know, if you have a, a, a trademark look, you're not going to find Carrot Top coming in and then you're going to shave his head. That's not going to happen. I would never do anything as drastic, though, without first getting your approval. Well, if Carrot Top came in, I, I mean, you, 
the tendency would be somebody should shave his head yeah, and slit, slit his, his throat. throat. But, uh, you know, a professional barber wouldn't do that because right. you'd recognize that Carrot Top uh, has a very successful act. And a lot of it's based on his look for whatever reason. Now, some of these guys, I don't know about Carrot Top, but a lot of them, uh, you know, the hair isn't real. Or they get it transplanted from the back of their, uh, you know, that the, uh, the buttocks or uh, other places. I didn't realize that. I didn't know where the hair was coming from. So who were some people uh, that got you into entertaining? Grow up listening to comedy records or, uh, you know, watching Mork and Mindy or anything? I've seen the show. Definitely one of my favorites as I was a kid. You need a shave too, though, right? I don't know if I would accept a shave from somebody who's unshaven. I look like a child when I have a clean-shaven face. So. Well, I wouldn't want a child cutting my hair. And I'd also need to know that the uh, the blades have been sanitized thoroughly. I can guarantee you that the barbicide is 100% authentic, and these are sanitized tools I'm using. Well, what is the guarantee exactly? A guarantee that isn't backed by anything isn't much of a guarantee. If it turns out not to be true, what do I receive? Hepatitis, I think. Well, you see, that's my point exactly. Is this good quality shaving cream? A lot of the shaving cream now is made out of uh, rendered, uh, you know, roadkill and that type of thing. I think the heater disinfects anything. Well, I'll uh, tell you something. Road. If somebody had a raccoon that would have been run over by a truck a few times and then disinfected it, is that still something you'd like to eat? Because whether it's infected or disinfected or not, right. it's still distasteful. You can boil it for 150 years. I still don't want to shave with some uh, dead raccoon. I don't blame you. This stuff must be good, though, because, you know, they sell it at the shops. Uh, well, they sell, Pringles. they sell Pringles at the shops, too, and I wouldn't eat those. Speaking of things made out of the dead raccoons. You don't like Olean? No, I do not like uh, Olean. It goes right through you. Have you ever gotten a straight razor shave? Is there any other kind? <laughs> this stuff smells like Irish Spring. It brings me back to childhood. Did you grow up in a chemical plant? Hurry up. Yeah, well, you know. <clears throat> now you look like a million bucks. Well, that's, uh, that's your job. I'll be sure and mention your uh, facility uh, during my show tonight. Well, we can use all the help we can get right now. So. Why is that? Was there some sort of scandal? Stop.